Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between arthrokinematics and osteokinematics. Uh, so it helps to start out with a little bit of terminology. Osteo means relating to bones, arthro means relating to joints, and kinematics is the study of motion without consideration of the specific forces that are involved. Uh, so osteokinematics, we're looking at the study of motion of the bones versus osteo, or sorry, versus arthrokinematics, we're looking at the study of motion of the joints. Um, so osteokinematics, if we're looking at the pathways of moving bones, then really the osteokinematics are mo motions like flexion extension, adduction abduction, um, lateral flexion, circumduction, this whole list of uh, movements that we commonly refer to as joint actions. Um, but really, we're looking at the whole pathway of the moving bone, whether that be linear motion or angular motion. Uh, we're looking at the movement of the whole bone compared to arthrokinematics, where we're looking at the movement of the two bones relative to one another inside of the joint. Uh, so these are motions that we can't visually observe because we can't exactly see um, how the two bones are articulating and how they're interacting inside of the joint. So the motion that we see from the outside, that's the osteokinematics where we see flexion, extension, or all those big obvious motions. The arthrokinematics are what is happening inside the joint between the two bones at their articulating surfaces. Uh, so with arthrokinematics, we have three possible movements. So it's roll, spin, and glide. Uh, so roll is a rotary movement. It's where we have one bone rolling on another. Um, so a practical example is if you think about a tire that's you know part of a car and it's just rolling on the road. So just normal roll, like you would imagine a ball rolling or a tire rolling. So it's the roll of one bone relative to the other inside of that joint. Spin is another rotary movement, but it's where we have a bone that's spinning relative to another bone. Um, so like we see in the picture here, uh, you can have one bone that's relatively stationary and another that is spinning in place, um, that is spinning on top of that other bone. So you see that like in pivot joints, for example, you see that a lot. A uh, practical example would be like a tire spinning in place. So maybe you're in the mud or something and you're not getting enough friction and the tires are spinning. So that's an example of spin compared to roll where we, you would have traction and the tire would um, be able to roll and move forward. Um, glide is our last uh, movement here. It's a translation movement. So it's a linear movement compared to the other two that are both angular. Um, glide is linear, so it's the linear motion of one bone relative to another. So we would have the entire bone moving in one direction relative to the other without any sort of rotation or angular motion. Um, so an example there would be like you're in your car, you slam on the brakes, um, the tires might be locked because you're trying to stop the car. So they're no longer rolling or spinning. They're locked in place, but the car might still be sliding across the pavement. So in that case, that would be glide. So the whole tire is sliding across rather than rolling or spinning in place. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.